Hey everyone, I am back with another video. This one's a little different because I just wanted to declutter some lipstick. I am purging our house. We are moving overseas. So I just want to downsize as much as possible. And I just got to that point where I'm like, I have a few bold lipsticks that I just don't need. And I'm just at that point with lips in particular, I just want the shades that I am using on the regular. I'm tired of things going bad. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. I'm gonna try them on for you guys, one by one. And we're just going to dissect if it looks good on me or not. I figured what better way than to bring you all along for this journey. So let's just hop into it. I am so excited. So I will say, I don't exactly know if this is every one of them. There's probably a couple in my purse or at work in the office. And those shades are probably just neutrals that I use time and time again. So I'm not worried about those. What I'm worried about going through is this organizer and then this organizer, which has gloss, balm, lipstick, and then lip liners. And then I have some extras right here. So I don't know which way I want to go first. I think I want to start with actually my Huda Beauty cream lipsticks. These are phenomenal. I love these. The one that's my all time used is Sweet Cheeks, which I am actually diligently trying to work on using up. And I will repurchase it because this is a go to for me. But I want to use this one up because it's older. So I know that I'm going to keep this. If you are curious to see what this looks like, it's just like a brownie pink moment. On camera, it looks a little more brown, but on my lips, it's a little bit pink. I love a good lipstick like that, so that one's definitely staying. My lips are probably going to hurt because I'm wiping it off with a rag. But I'm just the kind of girl that I have rags in my makeup drawer that I use to swipe off makeup, yada, yada, yada. So that's what I'm gonna use on my lips. So I think I'm gonna try this one. This is Money Maker. This is probably as like 90s brown as I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put this in the maybe because I don't know about it because of how brown it is. The next one is Hustla, which is definitely more brown based. It's melted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go because I also don't really care for it on my lip. Then I've got Honey Bun, which has also kind of melted, so I love that for me. Well, I'm gonna let it go since it's melted. Starting off strong. This is Habibi. I don't know. It's definitely like a richer, plummy natural brown. I don't know about that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of Habibi. I think I'm saying that wrong, but I think I'm gonna keep Money Maker, which is more of that like brown tone one that's like a little more 90s for me but this one's not it okay i'm getting rid of three hudas and i'm keeping two the next ones are urban decay vice lipsticks i have four of them i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of any of them but we shall see um i know that i use back talk quite often this is like a purpley just for reference i wear this with like a little bit more cooler toned lip liner and it just always looks so pretty. Um, Naked. It's definitely more pink pink. Obviously this is not the cutest application. Mm, it's kind of baby pinkish. I don't know. Am I just not into baby pink anymore? I'll put this in the maybe pile. I have Liar, which is another one that I've used quite a handful of times. This one's one of their creams as well. It's just more of like a super neutral brown. So I'm going to keep that one. And the last one is oat milk, and this is probably the lightest I will go on a lipstick. Like, it's almost concealer lips. I look stupid right now. But I do tend to use that one for ombre and stuff like that, so... I don't know about it right now. I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile, but I could see myself keeping it. And then I have three from Lunar Beauty. I don't know if I will use these all, the, all that much, though. It's pretty dry. Put that in the maybe pile. I also have Doodle, which is like a pinkier shade. I don't know about this one. I will say it's not, like it's pink, but it's got a little more of like a cooler tone to it, so I don't hate it. I've got some other super pink ones, so I'm going to put this in my baby pile and hold on to it. And then the last one I have is called Blushing, which is like a peachy pink. This is so dry. I don't know about that one. I'm going to put that in my baby pile as well. Okay, so far I'm keeping four. I have five in my maybe pile and then three that I'm getting rid of. I've downsized my lipstick collection 
quite a bit from the last time I decluttered, which was only a few months ago. Obviously that was before I started my channel, so you all didn't get to see how ruthless I was then. But I just want to be more practical now, so that's where I'm at. Now I will say there are some shades here that are not something I wear all the time, but I utilize them specifically during certain times. And you'll understand what I mean when I get there. But first one I want to try out is from LYS. This is one of the... I'm not even going to try to read that. This is just a really pretty like orange. It smells god awful and it tastes bad but i love the color i'm caught between a tie with this one because i love the color but it tastes bad i'm, I'm gonna get rid of it and just find another orange okay i have two from abh i think i'm gonna hold on to both of these i have praline which is a go-to for me i've used this time and time again so i'm gonna hold on to that i know for a fact and then I have Sun Baked, which is a matte lipstick. I like the matte formula because it's not super drying compared to like the Luna Beauty ones. So the last set are from Milani. They're the Fetish Matte line. I am obsessed with these. These are truly a phenomenal formulation at the drugstore and they're under $10. So sign me up. So I will say Tease is my most used. You can see it right here. It is this shade here. It's a little bit more brown toned. And then this shade here is called Pleasure. I don't know if I'm going to keep both of them. So Pleasure is one that I will put in my maybe pile for right now. Secret is my other most used. This this to me is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk. This is truly my lip, but better. Like, obviously, this up here is my regular lip. This is with the lipstick on. It evens out my, like, flesh tone, basically, and I love it so much. It's more of a neutral pink, so it's one that you can wear with a cool tone liner and it turns more cool toned, or you can warm it up with a warm tone liner, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, so 10 out of 10 will always recommend that one. The main ones I'm not sure about are, like, these pinks and this deeper brown, so let me just swatch them out and figure it out. So this is Peony. It's a little bit more pinky, rosy toned than Secret. I will swatch those next to each other just so you have that comparison. So this is Secret. This is Peony. You can kind of see this has more brown to it. This has more pink in it. I don't know if any both of them, but I do lock them. So I think I'm going to put this in my maybe pile for right now. This one is called Petal. It's more of like a, I don't even know if this is, it's just more of like a pinky pink, of like a warm rose. I think I might get rid of this one. It's a little too pink for me. And then I have Blossom, which is a true fuchsia. I don't know. This is hard because I'm like, oh, it's such a pretty pink. And then I'm like, I will never wear it. So I feel like I would wear the petal shade over this blossom shade. So I'm going to get rid of that one and maybe hold on to this. My lips are hurting. This last pinky tone, this is more of like a berry. This is called Fleur. The pigmentation on these are beautiful. I just don't see myself wearing the shade. So I'm going to let it go. This is called Passion. It's more of like a brown tone. The shade's just not cute on me. So I think I'm gonna pass this on because it's just not working with my undertone, you know? And now I have a red and a black. So I will say the red I am gonna go ahead and keep. I wear this pretty regularly every like couple months and then obviously during the holidays. So I'm gonna keep my red. My black. <laughs> So obviously this isn't the best application. I will say I do like my black because it's very in. It's a staple shade. And I will say as far as a black lipstick goes, this came out for Halloween. So did the red. But these are still the same formulation as the original lineup of lip shades. So I appreciate that they didn't cheapen the formula just to make like a... Halloween spooky black lipstick. I I want to keep it, but I don't know. But this is my maybe pile. Okay, one last lip product that I have is from Shea Glam. I bought this for my honeymoon in September, and it's like those pencils where you unscrew them and then you have other other ones underneath. I don't know if anyone remembers that pencil that I'm talking about. I have a couple different shades here. I only keep this because I utilize it when I travel. It comes in handy for that. It's a few, it's four neutral shades, so I will hold on to this. And then I'm also going to hold on to this Give Beauty lipstick because this is new to me. I got this in MC and I haven't tried it yet. But it does seem like a shade that I will enjoy. As for like lip glosses and balms, I have a couple here. Um, I love my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. These are the OG ones. I also apologize for the black staining on my lips. Okay, I had to put a little bit of lip balm on because my lips are on fire from that. But I will say the Maracuja 
Juicy Lip. This is phenomenal. I have the shade Clear. I love it. I will forever pick these up. So this is definitely something I'm holding on to. But I will say I tried out the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click and I don't really like this. So it's more balmy, but then I can feel the, the glitter in it, which the glitter in it is pretty, but it's so scratchy on the lip so i'm gonna get rid of that another thing that i love are the lys balms these are the speak love glossy lip oil treatments i have the og and then this is the shade this is the shade lovable i love them they're really good so i'm gonna hold on to those another thing that i like are the half kicked instant crush lip glosses i have the shade mesmerize and crystal baller these are good too i have this alice in wonderland lip gloss from wet n wild that i got on clearance forever ago really pretty gloss i wish they brought this back but this is fairly old so i'm gonna let this go i have a tower 28 gloss this is just a nudie brown i don't like it unpopular opinion but i don't really care for the tower 28 gloss formula i thought i would but i don't and this isn't a shade i would wear on its own because it's definitely like a milky brown you can definitely see it and you can see it's starting to slide all over my lip so i don't think i'm gonna hold on to this and then the last one here is from St. Jane Beauty. Just a really pretty little, like, corally pink. There's nothing really special about it, but it is pretty, so I'll hold on to this one for now. Try and use it up. The last thing are lip liners, which I don't have a lot of them. I will say I don't need the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner because I only bought this to match the LYS lipstick, so I don't need that bright orange, even though it was pretty... Okay, I'm trying to figure out lip liners. I have a couple from Morphe, and I don't really support Morphe, but they do make a pretty good lip liner for pretty inexpensive. I know that I really like Makeup Top. It's a little more cooler toned. Backseat Love is a pretty pink, and then Honeymoon's a pretty one. I don't have anything like Makeup Talk, so I'm going to hold on to that. Sweet Tea is a really dark brown. I don't know if I'm going to like to keep it. It kind of looks like doo, doo on me, so... I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I have a couple deeper ones. Like, if I'm going to go for deeper... You see how that's just got more of like a yellow-brown undertone? This has more of a red undertone. I would prefer to keep that. And that's the shade BFF2 from ColourPop. And then I've got Bumble, which is a really pretty, like, just rosy tone. So I'm going to hold on to that. That's a little more brown-pink. I know, you're probably like... They all look the same, and I'm like, you're probably right. And then this one is Backseat Love. It's a little more pink, peachy pink. No, Oh Snap is a little more like cooler toned pink right there. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. That's a really good loved one. Um, I've got this one from Huda. There's another pinky shade. This is the shade Pinky Brown. Hold on to that. Okay, so there's Field Day, and then this one is Honeymoon. I'm gonna hold on to both of those because I do use my neutral browns relatively awesome often. I got her two lip liners holding on to the other tin. I'm not mad about that. Lip liners aren't something that I go out of my way to buy. I just typically get them at Ipsy, so that's why I have them. So far, I only have a handful more to decide on. These are all of my maybes. So Naked and Oat Milk from Urban Decay. Well, let me see. Oat Milk I'm going to keep because it is kind of like that. It's almost a concealer shade, but I do like to use it to lighten up some deeper tones. I'm going to hold on to it for now. This is Naked from Urban Decay's Vice. I want to see this in comparison to my... Yeah, that's very, very pink. I don't think I will utilize that, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. But I have Peony here. So that's Peony. I think I'm going to hold on to this one and get rid of Naked because Peony is just a little bit more muted. It's not as bold. I think I'm going to hold on to um, Pleasure from Milani because it is just a little bit more warmer tone. And then I have all of these from Litter Beauty ones are a little too drying for me nowadays. Doodles are really dark pink i think i might hold on to that one like milk tea is just it's a little more yellowy brown so i'm not gonna hold on to that one yellowy brown lipsticks just don't look good on me and then for the fun of it i am actually gonna hold on to my black lipstick because i do use it during halloween and i do like it let me get this off and then i'll give you a total i'm keeping 10 lip liners but i'm getting rid of two I'm keeping three glosses and then getting rid of three as well. I'm keeping 16 lipsticks. 
I have one here that I'm gonna test out to see if I want to keep it or not. And then I'm getting rid of 10 lipsticks, so I'm not really mad about that. Okay, so I've decided to put everything in this container here, and then it sits on my desk directly. So I have all of my lipsticks just sitting out. And then obviously I have a space for this one here at the bottom of my little tower. And then I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> I have this set up. I'm probably going to change it. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Please don't forget to go ahead and comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, just let me know if you like declutters, if you like try-on style, or if you prefer where I just show you the collection and dig through it with my hands. I would greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, I'm just going to hop off and I will see you all in the next one. I appreciate you all so much and have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this.